I went to the most exclusive, fabulous, stupendous, extraordinary, amazing, astonishing, fantastic, and most of all, overpriced restaurant of them all. The Gucci restaurant. And boy oh boy, was it a ride. Hi guys, I'm Mar. And today, I can't even believe it. In the middle of 2020, the middle of so many things happening, I stumbled across a TikTok. And that's probably not surprising for you guys because that's how I start every video. But this TikTok was saying there was a Gucci restaurant. And I was like, Excuse me? Gucci restaurant? I have a weird love-hate relationship with Gucci. It's mostly them just hating me. And there's so many videos about that. You guys can go watch them. But this is a restaurant. I can't say no to any restaurant. And this Gucci restaurant is apparently very Gucci. Not good. It's Gucci. I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna make that joke like 30 times during this video. So I had seen a Gucci restaurant in Italy and I was like, oh, you Italians fancy. That's how you guys do. I saw this one went to the Gucci outlet and I'll link that video for you guys if you guys wanna see it. It was awesome. It was magical. Pretty sure the skirt I bought no longer fits me. I was just not counting on quarantine body, okay? But on the Gucci website, they have the Beverly Hills one and it's the Gucci Osteria da Massimo Bottura. Mm. But they don't really give out much information. However, I did my research and Massimo is a Michelin star chef. So like his food is like, mm. you know it's about to be good when some tire company is handing out stars apparently. I went on Yelp and I checked out the reviews just for the fun of it. And there's some really good ones saying that the food is amazing. And there's some really bad ones saying it was disappointing. So I was just like, okay, Gucci got, please be nice to me. Please smile upon me. Because I saw they served pasta. And of course I had to try that for myself. I can't just let other people have all the pasta. Nyo, nyo, nyo. So first thing I did was call to try and make a reservation and that was an experience. They kept hanging up the phone. Literally, they would just pick it up, hang up, or they would say something like, hello, and then hang up. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to Oh yeah, hi, I wanted to make a reservation for lunch. I'm sorry, the person- I'm sorry, the person you were- They hung up on me again? Again? I wasn't really sure what was happening, but also I was not surprised because, I mean, this is Gucci. You're not really expecting customer service. At this point, I'm not really expecting anything close to customer service. But eventually, the Gucci god smiled upon me. For what day? For Thursday? For lunch? Which Thursday? We're not taking any more reservations on Thursday. I'm so sorry, we are at our limits. Oh, okay, so what's your next- Oh, wait a second, how many- wait, how many in your party on Thursday? Two. I can do, you know, I just have a two o'clock that just popped open. Oh, okay, I'll take that. I'm <laughs> so lucky. What part of Pennsylvania are you from? Pittsburgh. Oh, I'm from Pittsburgh as well. Oh! So like the 412, I'm like, oh, Oh, okay, oh, I was good. like, wow. Oh, that's why you're so nice, Pittsburgh people. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny that it's, I, like, I'm looking right now, we have, like, probably 28 people on hold waiting. <gasps> oh, <laughs> well. And we only have eight tables, so when I saw the 412, I'm like, I got it, girl. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so lucky. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Take care. Have a good Thursday too. All right, bye. bye. She only answered my phone call because I have a 412 number. Go Pittsburgh! I felt so blessed. My Pittsburgh number came through and she was very nice. So I decided to make my way to Rodeo, honey. All right, you guys. So we in Rodeo. We feeling fancy. Mm. Got all the expensive stuff and some overpriced food. But I think it's gonna be really good. So if there's something I'm very willing to spend all my coin on, is food. I'm excited. I feel like that's gonna be delicious. Also, low key scared. What if they don't have a reservation? I don't know. I'm nervous. We're here. It's really busy, I feel like. It's a lot of people. So we're trying to walk away from people, but it's so busy. Look, you guys. And there's a whole line there. Oh, wow. I guess Rodeo is a place to be. Pandemic who? We just wanna shop, apparently. And since this is Gucci, I was a little bit nervous about what to wear. So I went to show you guys my outfit. I went pretty casual. I couldn't decide between these two bags, but I ended up wearing this one. I thought I looked fine and it was comfy. So that's the most important, especially when you go to eat. And we made our way over to the restaurant and there was a huge line of people outside. I was worried that was for the restaurant, but it turns out it's just to go into the Gucci store. I guess in the middle of a crisis, you always need your Gucci. And they checked their temperature and then they walked us over to this elevator that went all the way to the rooftop of the Gucci store. We're in and this magical door is about to open. Woo! About to have some bomb pasta. And 
that's where the magic started. The restaurant itself was so beautiful. They weren't seating a lot of tables just because of everything going on. So that just made it even more <laughs> luxurious. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. I want literally everything on this menu. It looks so good. The place is so beautiful. It's right over the Gucci store. Everything's Gucci. It's not good. It's Gucci. So we ordered, here's the menu, which you could see on your phone. Everything looks so, so good. I want to eat it all. I'm just like, mm, just feed me. Mm. We finally decided what to order. <laughs> and then first they got us our drinks. I got an Arnold Palmer because mm, yummy. P.S. There were luxury bags everywhere. <laughs> I just want those bags, ma'am. So we ordered the tasting menu and then we also got some cheese and the risotto. Apparently that's way too much food, which is just the best problem to have. The more food, the better. And first we got the bread and the butter. The butter was so cute. I was just like, mm. we also got some cheese and the cheese was not included in the tasting menu. So he explained to us what the cheese was. They were all so delicious. I swear I could just eat cheese for Ever. So this is the pecorino cheese, mm -hmm. ribola, the blue cheese, then this parmigiana reggiana, yeah. and this is the pecorino cheese. Okay. So the pecorino is going to be a little sharper, you know, blue cheese probably. Ribola is very creamy, almost like a brie. Okay. And served on Gucci plates. The actual plate says Gucci on it, made in Italy. I was like, Gordo, put that in your bag, open it up, because we taking this home. Oh, these crackers. Look at this. Ooh. <gasps> They're warm. They're warm. Ooh. So good. No, not the butter. No. Oh, no. It's still fabulous, though. There's some spicy apple. You eat with your cheese. That's some fancy. Mm -mm. I'm not fancy enough for this. I like my apple sweet. Then we got some burrata with white asparagus. It was really good. And then we got seafood salad, which was even better. And then we got some more food. I got to eat double this because Gordo does not like seafood. Oh, it's good. Mm, mm. Seafood. You would not like this. It tastes like seafood a lot. Is it a pizza? Is it a risotto? It's a risotto camouflage. As a pizza. Mm. And then some more food. This one was my favorite. This was just Parmesan cheese everywhere. It was so delicious. I mean, here's my literal face as I taste it. I've really been waiting for this moment. So our amazing waiter says this is the cheese. It's a liquid cheese that I gotta try it. I'm just like, I want all the cheese. Mm. Oh wow, oh wow, mm. I thought he was overselling it. Mm. It was so good. Also, we were there for hours, so I took a little detour to the restroom and it wasn't too fabulous, I will say. It wasn't that Gucci. Then there was fish and leftovers, which we got in this beautiful bag. And at this point, I was just way too full. But I'm way too full. I can't. <laughs> but there's always room for dessert because dessert is a good to the stomach. It goes to the heart. And dessert was so good. It was this strawberry sorbet, but it had like little pieces of strawberry on the side and this flour that you could eat. And they put some chamomile cream on top. I'm not even a fan of chamomile and I loved it. I was just like, mm. In my tummy, you go. Mm, this smells so much like strawberries. It's so pretty. Prettiest dessert ever. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Little bits of strawberry. So good. Mm. It's over. We're leaving. And yeah, honestly, we had a great time. I don't know if it's because I've been inside my house too long, but I felt really safe there. There was a lot of social distancing going on. The food was on freaking point. It was delicious. Yes, it was definitely overpriced. The portions were really, really small. The tasting menu is $135 for five courses. And we actually added three extra courses. And don't get me wrong, we were full, but we ate dinner after. It wasn't like, oh, I'm so full. I can't eat anymore. I had some Chick-fil-A like at 9 p.m. So if you go there, don't go think it's gonna be like some golden corral where you're gonna be like satisfied you're gonna get five plates but are gonna be five full plates no honey these are gonna be five very small plates it's gonna be delicious but you're probably still gonna be hungry it's more like a special occasion place but the service was great everyone was so nice honestly i can't even believe i'm saying this service at gucci was great my mind is blown right now and yeah if i can ever get another reservation i will definitely go back if i'm not banned somehow hopefully i'm not i mean they've kicked me out of the gucci store so many times at this point and i haven't been banned so I think I should be able to still go get some pasta. Mm. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all my other Gucci videos. And yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.